Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode on the Skizzlecraft server. We are on to episode 12, and I'm starting this episode here in the nether because I've... Well, I did a little bit of work here that I didn't plan on doing. Um, so I was trying to get my portal sorted ready so we can build this little area, and I went a little bit too far um, with, with decorating. So we did this on off camera. Um, this wasn't supposed to happen just yet, but uh, never mind. We... Um, I moved the portal over here because it was this way before and I wanted a portal on both the north and the south side of the base. So I just turned that round and did a little bit of decorating on that and then went over and did the same on the other side. And then if we go through, you can see we've got a portal on the south side of the base as well now. Down here on the pathway. And this isn't as big as the main portal, but we've just got one here on the pathway decorated with the fire and our water themes that we've got in these two uh, sections. So that is done for now. So the next thing I need to do is to start working on a build. And I've been gathering resources for both the tower in the wind elemental section that I want to build and the water mill over in the uh, water elemental section and I did a little bit of uh, digging out and moving grass and stone from out there and uh, I think we're going to start on the water mill today because hello um if we go over here to where I'm going to be building the tower which we'll either be doing in next episode or the one after that I'm not quite sure because I also want to get the uh, the nether side done as well but these are the resources we need for the tower so i showed you last episode that we've dug well marked out this space for the tower and this is going to be really tall so you can see here we've got lots of glass lots of end rods lots of concrete more concrete more glass more glass more concrete so um yeah I think I've got enough in here for everything. I think I've worked out right for how much I need, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, luckily, it shouldn't be too hard um, to do some more. It did take a quite a while to get the concrete ready. Um, but for now, I need to go to gather the last of the resources that I need for the water mill, which we're going to be building over that side. And that is the warped wood from the nether. So I'm going to head out to our resource world, our nether resource world, and uh, clear a few trees out. So resources have been gathered. I think there might be some resources I need, but they're only like a couple of blocks if I need them when I get to that point. But uh, we have... Oh, there's my water and my underpills and my torches. Um, we have resources in all of these. I think we... I think I've covered everything. Uh, we've got plenty of warped wood here and I do have more inside the storage if I need it, if that's not quite enough. Then we've got lots of oxidized copper. I've been having them spread out around, getting them oxidized, both the normal ones and the slabs. And then plenty of warped planks as well, because we're going to be mixing up the planks and the wood. But I think I'm going to start getting this built. So I think I'm going to start with the frame first which is made of the warped wood um so i think i'm gonna start with that and get it all built up just so we can see the height of it so you can see i've marked out this area here in red which is where the water's gonna be so i can't have it flowing from here just inwards because all of this is higher so it needs to be flowing in this direction so i thought if we follow up here to this section 
I'm gonna terraform this area here and build kind of like a tunnel or something where the river's gonna flow out of so that it comes from underneath since we do go higher up in the land over there so it's the water's gonna come out from underneath and we're not gonna be able to see where the source of the water is and it's gonna flow down here split up into two around this area here and then we are going to have the actual water wheel in this section which i've just marked out and then this is going to be the water mill you can see it's a little bit odd here this is the actual house part and then as it gets further up it's going to have an exit going out in a higher level so this is just i've marked out one where i'm going to be doing the terraforming and where the water is going to be so this is all going to be like a stony uh, cliff face uh, mini cliff face stony hill going up here starting with deep slate and then we're going to build a gradient up to a normal stone at the top and then i'll probably add a bit of grass and stone on the top of that as well so uh, for now we need to got start get started building the frame. So I know this is kind of looking, well, it looks quite bad at the minute, to be honest. But trust me, it will look better as we start adding the details in. But I've got to this point now, it's going to be quite a lot higher. Um, but I've got to the point now where I need to start adding some of the ceilings in, because some of these sections will have ceilings over them. Um, just little rooms that are off to the side. So I think I need to kind of go back and start doing that i could go back to the bottom and start all the detailing but i think i'm going to leave the detailing until right at the end um so we need fences oh actually all this is for the build it's just this bottom row was my junk from my inventory um we've got deep slate to add i've got the windows to add we've got all the uh the cut copper is for most of the ceilings it's actually cut copper and the warped wood the bamboo trap doors are for details around the windows i did want that to be iron trap doors but the locations where a lot of them are i couldn't get it to work out because uh, you can't have them vertical without a uh, a lever or some kind of power and then you know they were activating each other on some of the sections so I went kind of through every single trap door i thought maybe the warped would be the best but that just kind of blended in and i didn't really like that um but the bamboo ones gave a nice contrast but fits in quite well with the block palette so uh, i went for that so i think we've got enough in here i think it was four and a quarter stacks i need something like that if not i've got uh, plenty of bamboo inside it in the farm but yeah, I think I'm going to grab some of the copper, head back down and start working on a little bit of the, uh, the roofing. Oh. Hold on. A few things will fall on the floor, but it's fine. Go on. <laughs> Wait, no, get out of this mess. <laughs> uh, I got the head. Oh, it burns. You have thorns on your armor. I, I oh, yeah. I didn't take everything off. <laughs> oh. I had the uh, the noise. Yeah. Does anyone else? Okay, try again. Um, I'm gonna oh, need no. it, if, especially if you're gonna build a house, a mushroom yeah. house. Okay. All right. Um... Y'all got a y'all got a spare shulker I can use to dump my stuff. You ready? Uh, let me just stick. take, let's put the last of my stuff away. There you the, go. I'll put them in the bottom of this shulker just for one minute. All right. I want your head too. Uh, okay, go. Wait. I want all your heads. <laughs> okay, well, what, what would you do? We might as well. 
think I've run out of shakers. You ready? Yeah. No one ever makes it quick. No one ever makes that it quick. quick. That was two hits. You ready? Pretty cool. I, mine just has a door and a block of copper that I haven't waxed. Although I most of the time just end up calling her derps. <laughs> Where are we going? I call her Teddy or Derps. Did I go too far? Uh, no, it's in the south tunnel. Oh. My favorite thing to do is fly through the nether and stay flying oh. the whole time. Oh. Mud's base is it's... at... Uh, oh! Are where, where, where are you? you Did you fall down the death hole? <laughs> I'm back at your base. It didn't happen at the hub, did it? Yep. Oh, you no. Fell down the, you down the death gonna, hole, aren't you? Tried to, instead of, like, <laughs> landing, I tried to go from one tunnel to the next. Oh, yeah, I That's see you down there. I hit right at the portal, and everything fell down into the bottom. Oh. I got it. You got it? You got it all? Yay! Yep. Thank Just you. Just do a double check. Thank you. MVP. Yeah, I'm just having everybody who wants to come build a mushroom house, and then I have a piece of everyone at my base, and then I can, like, put their armor stand up somewhere around it, you know? Yeah, well, you've got my head. So, I won't put a yep, sign down, I do. but I will come and build a mushroom. I'll just... Okay. okay. Uh, when I'm ready to build, I'll come and find a spot then. I'm in the boat. Let's we're going, sail we're, all we're the going. way down to 660 on the East Tunnel. That might take more than 15 that, minutes. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what the boat was for. No more Harold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's the pole? Oh, oh, my my portal's uh, on top of mountain. Yeah. We might want to sleep. Yeah, it's death at the moment. <laughs> if I look up into the sky... 40 million phantoms are going to spawn. Oh, hello, zombie. This is very cool. Oh, there's a this, pond. This base is 14,000 blocks away from my from my second one. <laughs> but, um, I've got a lot of interior design to do on this. Uh, but if you go in the top apartment on this one where we are now, it's, it's decorated fully. If you need ah. to do interior design, what do I need to do? My, ba my base is empty. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you want to come over, we're in the uh, spiral uh, apartment thing in the corner. Shag carpet. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh, I love this is great. This looks really cool. Yeah, it just takes a lot of time when you've got. Oh, I like the table. The you've table's got, like, cute. 50 apartments to, <laughs> to decorate. Huh. Oh, you've done the map. That's cool. Yeah. Washing machine. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And like, yes, like, I know like here it's in the kitchen, but I'm English. The no, no, that, that's the what the that's what the. the, the, the <laughs> to, yeah, in in England, yeah, you miss yeah you miss the s out of washing. Just so you know. Yeah. Did I? Oh, yeah. Cupboard too. Oh, I, oh, I took, like that's, that's because I took the name off them. Um, I forgot to do. I must have took the names off after I placed these ones. So I'll do that later. I don't Hello. want it so you can actually see the name when you look at it. Hello. It's me, the the rich person. I would like your high rise apartment. <laughs> uh, which, the whole block or the or penthouse? Uh, the penthouse. Okay. This one, or do you want the other side? The other side's not decorated yet. Oh, okay. That's uh, okay. Uh, oh, there's the I TV and the. Floor I, I don't mind. Oh, there's the balcony. How much, how, how much do I owe you for the penthouse? Surprise me. Hmm? Surprise me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you sure you want to say that? I, I found the uh, toilet. Where's my end? Where's the ender chest? In here, there isn't one. Oh, there's a tiny oh, box. just started building. The, the ender chests are in the main base. I always carry one around. I usually do, but because I'm building, oh! it's in a chest. <laughs> I like the cupboard. That's cool. Squid head for a 
I'll put there a sign up go. with your name on. <laughs> how much? How long is that rent good for? Uh, this season. This season? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, another all... couple of years. No. <laughs> another couple of years. We just paid... <laughs> I just paid my rent for a couple of years. So, added a little bit of the roofing in. We've still got a little bit more to go. Well, quite a lot more to go. It's going to be quite high. Um, and some of the detail. This side looks a little bit strange because there is a lot still to add here. Um, if we go around this side, you can start to see it looking a little bit better uh, with the detail in. Especially if we go over from this direction. You can kind of see the uh, the skulk is taking the place of where I would normally in a normal block palette I would put um logs as like beams so I'm using the skulk for that um I've got a lot of skulk and these uh, warped planks on the inside where the flooring is but I'm going to change them out at some point because I want a proper floor inside this section looks a little bit boring but this is going to be covered up I'm actually going to go grab some stone and just mark out where this is going to go because I'm going to have this going from here and up to that so it's going to be kind of level the the, the ground here is going to be level with that so this is going to be a nice little uh, hill uh, with the gradient from the uh, deep slate up to stone so I might go start that not do the whole thing just yet um, but under here is just going to be empty and be I could put a farm in here if I really wanted to, but I'm probably not going to do that. I've got all my farms up there. Um, and then again, this side still needs some detailing. There is going to be some prismarine and dark prismarine detailing more on this side and a little bit on the top and around the front. And then obviously we need to put the water wheel in as well. Then all the uh, final details are going to be in a little bit later if I don't fall in the water. But um, this is actually looking quite nice so far, so I need to keep working on it. It's taken quite a while, uh, so far just this, because of the amount of time I have to play after work and getting distracted uh, with other people. This has actually took me three days so far, so uh, hopefully uh, it won't take too long for the rest of it. Now this is looking a lot better. So we've got the main frame of the building done and all the ceiling parts, well all the roofing. Um, and the prismarine sections are in. Looks a little bit odd at the minute, but this is going to be covered with our stone area. And then we've just got to do the water wheel, uh, which I'm going to do last. We need to put all the doors in, um, all the trap doors in. We need the glass in all the windows. But I think before I do that, I'm kind of tired of having to go up and down with scaffolding. So um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is build this up i've got all the different stones and stuff i need so i'm going to build this up from here up to the top so we can easy easier easily get up and down um to the main doorway so we're going to do that now there we go that is that done so if we go up here we can see it a little bit better so I've done the gradient like this and i added some of the mossy just into the bottom because this is where the water's going to be now the gradient, I've done a lot more dark at the bottom. The water's pr at this point probably going to be like three or four blocks up. It's probably going to be around this this height and then it's going to go down as we uh, move closer to the ocean. So that fits in perfectly. We just need to do this part. I'm not, probably not going to get the water done today. That'll be something that we do in a future uh, episode. But... Once we've got this in, we'll need to be able to work out where the pathways are going. So we are going to need a, a bridge to go across the water to that. So that's probably going to go across and like down to meet this section. And we're going to need a bridge going off to that entrance up there as well. I think now we're going to get started on the water wheel. So I need to just grab the resources I need for that. Uh, I think I might need to dig out a little bit because it is going to go down. Obviously it needs to be inside the water. Um, but that shouldn't take too long and then once that's done we can uh, do the detailing on this and then it'll be all done so that's the size of the wheel I'm doing I've just been playing around with the one side at first because obviously this needs to be um, well over to this section here so that is the outside section of the wheel and then we're going to need this part here now I'm going to be playing around trying to get uh, Instead of just having the spokes like in a straight line, I'll see if I can manage to get them slightly curved. And I've been using the trap doors for that. 
Oh, they're in my cloth hands. Now, I've been using the bamboo trapdoors for decoration on this, but uh, I started with the bamboo on the wheel and it didn't really make sense because this isn't for decoration, it's for actual shape in it. But um, it really helps during this when we've got the stairs, if we want to connect the stairs where it's more than just a corner. Um, we can use the trapdoors like this to make it a little bit more connected, a little bit more realistic. Then we can move this around a little bit more. So if we do that with some trapdoors like this, then we're going to need stairs in, I think it's that section. And then if we put some trapdoors on top like that, that, give us, that gives us that slight curve here. Not quite sure about the stairs, maybe... See, it would be great if you had vertical slabs because then I could just have this section without this. I'll have to play around with that but bit, but that kind of fits in actually with this. So instead of it being part of the support there, this bit's going to go across. Actually, I think that works fine because that's going to go there for when we build the next part of the wheel. And we're going to have oh, this bit down here is wrong. That was just because I needed some underneath. So we're copying this across. So we've got stair trap door and then we do the trap door on top like that and then go more stairs and let me just continue the circle round like that that's the wrong way oops that was the trap door let's try that once again if we can actually if we can actually get up like that there we go, and then we're going for the normal one. So I'm just going to continue this all the way around, copying what I've done on that side, and then see how it looks with this once we've got multiple of these all the way around. Let's take a look at this. I did change it out for uh, spruce because although it looked really good, you couldn't really see it that well. It blended into the background, so I thought the wheel, we can just go out of the um the color theme a little bit i mean we don't need to stick to the color theme exactly we uh that's going to be the main bit but we can use other blocks like i've got the white and the black over there so uh, we can use a little bit of the brown in here and i think that looks a lot better and i do like how these um support parts have worked out and this is going to be I just realized that the water is going to be flowing in the opposite direction. So I've done this the wrong way around. So these, I've only just realized right now, these bits need to be curving this way because the water is going to be flowing here. And these curved bits is what like, although yes, they are supports, but they collect the water and the water pushes on these sections and makes it spin, which means I have just finished building this the wrong way around so i need to fix it there we go that looks much better so now it makes sense with the water's going to be flowing in this direction and the idea is it gets put, caught in these sections pushes the wheel around you know how a water wheel works um but it makes sense now at least so i've not added the blocks in there as you can see up here i'll probably add that i'm gonna add them in because obviously we need the full wheel but uh, i've got a bit of digging to do down here i need to sort the water out so uh, i'll probably add those last blocks in actually i might as well just do them now i can always take them off if uh, i really need to if they're in the way temporarily so we just need to there luckily these are trapdoors makes it a lot easier and then block block I think that's right yeah there we go we've got the full wheel sorted now each of these are connected nicely i did do this one kind of weird but i fixed it so it looks right now um so that's that part done. So all that's left to do on this build now is to add all the glass in, add the doors in, buttons, pressure plates, stuff for opening doors because um, it's going to be iron doors because they look best. Um, and then we've got all the bamboo trap doors for the extra bit of colour to add in.
There we go. We've got all the details added added in. There's probably more things I could do, but I don't want it to look too busy. Um, I've actually changed these trap doors about four times now, trying different things because although when I tried the block palette out, um, I thought the bamboo trap doors looked really nice in the palette, but uh, once I put them on, I think it looked too much. Uh, it didn't really fit with everything. So I tried a few different types of trap doors and went with the oak ones for most of it. But then there are places where the trap doors and I just continued the uh, the warped wood. I think it looked better. I think these kind of sections are supposed to be more like joining these pieces of wood up. So doing them different colours didn't really make too much sense. Um, I'm still not quite sure whether I like all of this or whether it's a little bit too much or whether I should change some of these out. I was thinking maybe these four should go to warped as well. And there's a couple like that on the other side as well if we go around this side um but i'm just gonna leave it as it is for now and see when i've done the water and everything and got the whole thing fully completed um see what it looks like see this side it doesn't quite look as busy as um uh, as the other side i think this side looks a lot better um but i'm really happy with how this turned out we just uh, need the water section part done um, for the water wheel coming down here but I'm going to work on that probably between episodes I've never really done this kind of river before I've done small sections but I've never done it where I've got to be creating where the river's coming from and flowing downhill so this is going to take a little bit of a trial and error I did have a couple of pipes in here um, just to give it that little bit extra detail on the side of the house the side of the building anyway um, and I think it fits well, just adding the extra bit of water. Obviously, these are going to flow into the river. Um, but I think we are all done for today. This has took a long time to build, especially with all the uh, starting and stopping. Um, luckily, I had all the resources almost exactly. Uh, I think I've got like less than a stack of each of the different uh, resources left over. Um, and then I just went round and added in uh, lanterns to stop the spawning in different areas. So I just need to keep an eye that nothing spawns in. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I've got every spawnable spot covered. Um, the inside is not done. If we go in, this is just, well, empty. This is going to be done sometime in the future. Because um, I'm not quite sure how to decorate this because it's a water mill, it's not a house. But I'm thinking it kind of needs decorating as if someone's living here, but then it needs all the extra stuff as well. So, um, yeah, I need to get some ideas of what to do with this um, before I start building, because I really don't want to just ruin the whole thing. Uh, but I think that is all I've got time for today's episode, because this has took way way too long. A lot longer than I expected it to. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you liked it and uh, comments are always appreciated. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.